it's John Sawash, and I want to show you how I created this time telling activity in Google Slides. Um, I chose Google Slides for this activity because it allows me to do multiple um, pages, or in this case, slides. You could technically uh, do this in Google Drawing, um, but this provides me with a little bit of extra uh, flexibility. Now, the first thing you'll know when you open up this um, activity is that I can't actually click or change on any of these individual elements, which is interesting. So I can't change the numbers or any of that. And that's because these elements here are not actually on slide one. They're actually um, put onto the master. And so the slide master is kind of the behind the scenes template that um, I've put everything on. This makes it easier for students to interact with the activity without accidentally messing up any of the elements of the clock, which in this case is super important because there are probably, you know, 25 or 30 different elements uh, contained in this clock here. I've just grouped them all together. Um, it took a long time to create this. It's easy to change if you're the teacher, but because it's on the slide master, it allows me uh, to lock it for my students. Now, another interesting thing that I have um, done is I created this template here, uh, which is just the general clock, but then I went ahead and designed several other masters um, with different clock faces. So in this one, I have a script for the, uh, the text. Um, this one here is numbers. This is Roman numerals. This one just has 12, 3, 6, and 9. You know, various types of clocks that a, a student might see. And I've gone ahead and named each of these clock faces. So this one says partial, this one says written, and so on. Now, if we exit the master, um, the way the master works is that if, um, when you add a new slide to your presentation, it will allow you to select from the available master designs. So if I click the plus button in the top left corner, it will show me all of the different clock faces that I have created. And all I have to do if a student needs to practice um, another clock face, um, or they're struggling perhaps with the Roman numerals, I can just click numeral and I'll get a additional clock and now I can add the hands in and practice telling time on that face. The only thing that's actually on the slide itself are the hands, the large and the small hands. And this, um, you will need to teach your students how to grab the um, circle at the end of the arrow and move it around to point to the correct number. Same thing with the small hand. Um, depending on the age of your students, you can have a little bit of fun. Um, you can actually um, not put the clock hands in there and have them use the line tool to create their own, which is kind of fun. They can select the thickness and then um, they can also select the line end, which is kind of fun. So there's there's several different arrows that they can choose from. They could change the color of the hand if they want to. So I'll leave that uh, up to you to decide how you want to handle that. But it's, it's a fun activity. The whole goal of this activity is to provide a teacher with a really flexible interface for teaching time. So you can ask students to add new slides, practice um, different times. You could go up here and actually type in for them, say 12, 40 and have them um, change the hands to that time. You could have two students work together and one student selects the time and the second student manipulates the hands to point to the correct time. Also, uh, finally, the last thing you can do is uh, design your own clock face. Uh, this slide here, unlike the rest, does have the clock face um, available for editing. And so students can change the font uh, if they wish. They can change the color if they want to make their clock, um, you know, instead of white, make it, uh, you know, a real bold color or even use one of the gradient tools. They could create their own clock. So it allows them to not only learn how to tell time, but interact with the elements of the clock face. Hopefully this will be a helpful activity for your classroom. Um, even if you're not telling time, I hope that seeing how I set up this assignment might inspire you to create something for a lesson that you'll be teaching in your class.